Audio Jungle. So, modulus of section. The modulus of section, it is also called section modulus. How to get it? See, it's very simple. Uh, we have seen the bending equation, right? But what was bending equation? If you remember, it was m moment of uh, sorry bending moment divided by moment of inertia m by i is equal to sigma bending stress divided by y. Y was the distance from the neutral axis to the fiber okay is equal to e by r e was the young modulus and r was the radius of curvature right this was the formula we had seen and we had derived all right now coming to the <clears throat> the same formula if you go for the section modulus so how to define the section modulus just see we can write this first two uh, m by i and sigma by y we can take right so bending stress which is nothing but sigma you can get sigma is equal to m divided by i into y right now if you see sigma is equal to what we got sigma is equal to m divided by i into y now see suppose this is the beam and if you see we can say suppose this is the neutral axis and we have taken a segment we just say it's a fiber And this distance, if you remember, what is this distance? It's a y. Yes or no? So, <clears throat> if you check, if you are interested about the uh, bending stress sigma, when, because m is the bending moment, okay, and i is the moment of inertia, right? If I write sigma, when the sigma will be maximum that is our point okay sigma is nothing but bending stress so when bending stress will be maximum that is our concern so sigma is m by i and when this value will be maximum when this y is what maximum uh, so sigma max is basically directly proportional to y max or because because for the section is what constant then obviously moment of inertia will be constant and bending moment what you are having if it is constant then sigma which is nothing but bending stress will always be constant to the distance from neutral axis which is nothing but y so sigma max means y max that's the mean of it right now coming to this again we can have this sigma which is nothing but which is nothing but i can write sigma by y is equal to m by i or we can write m is equal to m is equal to sigma okay i by y that also we can write 
without any doubt. So, if you see M, which is nothing but basically resisting moment, that also at equilibrium condition, it is nothing but bending moment. So, this M, if you see, what you got sigma i by y right now <clears throat> if you check because we are talking about the maximum sigma so definitely for sigma max this y should be maximum this y should be maximum so m is nothing but m is nothing but sigma maximum which is also called permissible uh, maximum sigma means uh, maximum stress or permissible stress this also you can say permissible stress or maximum stress it's your choice i by y okay this i by y we also can replace by z i by y we also can replace by z okay always remember what is this z z is nothing but i divided by y max which is also called which is also called for any beam this is the property okay it's a property of the section of beam because i is the moment of inertia that is the geometrical property of the section and y is also obviously it's a distance from the uh, neutral axis that distance between fiber to neutral axis is nothing but y max so if you check the ratio this ratio i by y max is nothing but it's a property okay it's a property property of of section of beam and this property of section of beam called as modulus of section called as modulus of section modulus of section simple done okay so always remember now <coughs> here whatever the sigma value that is the stress bending stress whatever you have used that is nothing but maximum stress okay and that maximum stress also called as a permissible stress this sigma max is nothing but maximum bending stress or this maximum bending stress also called as also called as permissible okay permissible stress also called as permissible stress right <coughs> and if i say this equation what just now i have written which is nothing but m m is equal to what we have written here m is equal to sigma max into z okay sigma max into z so as i told you sigma max also you can write sigma permissible per per for permissible stress so what is the mean of it okay what is the mean of it uh, means how now m will be defined so m will be defined as the moment or permissible maximum moment that moment carrying capacity of the section this is called moment carrying moment moment carrying capacity
of the section okay and this is also called also called permissible this is also called permissible maximum movement this is also called permissible maximum movement that's all so automatically if you see it doesn't mean uh, what is the sigma permissible if permissible stress in tension and compression are different for a material moment carrying capacity in tension and compression should be found separately and equated to maximum value of moment okay uh, now the point is if you are interested yes sir right so section modulus section modulus for a standard section what are the standard section like a rectangle okay square circle triangle uh, these are the standard section basically so here we have to write section modulus first we are going to talk about the rectangular section rectangular section now see you can take here one rectangular section check this is the rectangular section now okay and see this dimension for this rectangular section we can fix cg obviously it will be the mid of this uh, just say this is nothing but width b the whole distance is nothing but obviously it's a t from here to here now this is what a cg okay g so this distance is nothing but you can say it's d by 2 and this is nothing but d by 2 i already explained for rectangular section how to get cg so cg a vertical height that is d by 2 because uh it's a basically symmetric na? symmetric about both x and y axis so cg will be in between na? in between so this is nothing but cg this is nothing but cg in between of this and here this is the cg right now <coughs> obviously our neutral axis will also be here okay neutral axis will also be here and our neutral axis we can say the distance from the neutral axis to any surface maybe upper surface it will be y max okay it will be y actually so i can write y max so whatever the <coughs> uh section modulus you will write which is nothing but z it's i upon y max so what is the maximum distance possible from neutral axis to one surface that surface can be anyone this is the upper surface and this is the lower surface so any two surface uh, i mean two surfaces are there lower and upper any one surface you can take and you can check what is the maximum distance from the neutral axis so obviously the neutral axis is now passing through the cg and the maximum distance will be now y max right in this case what is the i i is nothing but moment of inertia moment of inertia if you check it's nothing but bd cube by 12 uh, bd cube by 12 that is nothing but moment of inertia right now if you calculate z what is z z is nothing but bd cube by 12 divided by y max is nothing but d by 2 if you calculate this how much you will get it's a bd square divided by 12 by 2 it's nothing but 6 so this is the z which is nothing but section modulus this is nothing but section modulus z hmm? similarly we can 
find the section modulus for the uh, hollow rectangular section. So we can write here. Hello. Rectangular section. I'll draw it. Hollow rectangular section means this is the hollow rectangular section. Okay. Obviously, CG also I have explained for this hollow rectangular section also already. It's a symmetric about x axis as well as y axis, so it will be in between. Okay. This is nothing but CG. Uh, this is nothing but G. If you check all the dimension here, this is capital B and this is nothing but capital D depth. And for this, obviously, this is, will be the small b width, and this is nothing but a small d. Okay. Now, if you check the distance, upper surface distance, obviously, it will be the maximum distance, which is nothing but, and you know, neutral axis is also passing through the CG here. So, definitely, this distance will be capital d by 2 and here also it is capital d by 2 so from neutral axis to any upper surface or lower surface distance is y max now if you calculate z value for this z value for this so what is the z now check z is nothing but that uh, section modulus i upon y max if you recall and check what is the i value for this so it's nothing but b d cube by 12 minus b d cube by 12 okay and what is the y max is to, it's a d by 2 so if you write the value of z it's nothing but 2 again 12 is the else uh lcm here so 12 by 2 it becomes 6 so I can tell you and uh, 1D will be there in denominator. So it's nothing but 1 by 6 BD cube BD cube divided by D. This is nothing but BD. No? Sorry. It's a BD okay now this is nothing but in bracket this is the section on section modulus uh, this is the section modulus for rectangular section and this is the section modulus for the for the hollow rectangular section hollow rectangular section all right now <clears throat> The next is nothing but uh, circular section. I can take third one. So you can ask like, okay, why here Y max is capital D by two? Because maximum distance you have to measure from neutral axis. So it will be upper surface means this surface you will get an outer surface, upper surface you will get the maximum distance y max because y you have to put maximum value okay for the section modulus so here if you see it, the maximum value of y is nothing but capital d by 2 not a small d by 2 all right right now circular section if you take so i can tell you this is nothing but circle uh, circular section and for this circular section, obviously CG will lie somewhere here. So here it is nothing but Z. And uh, you can say it, diameter is nothing but it's 
it's d uh, anywhere you can take this distance this is nothing but d this is what neutral axis obviously so what is this distance maximum distance anywhere if you take so it's nothing but y max which is d by 2 right now if you calculate z z is nothing but i divided by y max what is the i you know very well moment of inertia pi by 64 d to power 4 divided by d by 2 what is z pi by 64 and 2 it will cancel out so i think pi by 32 you may have it's a pi by 32 and d power 4 by d it's a d cube this is the section modulus for the circle okay similarly we can write a hollow circular tube okay we can write hollow circular tube hollow circular tube hollow circular tube okay this is cz now okay and if you talk about the cz so it's nothing but this is the diameter for the outer circle and this is the diameter for inner circle now <clears throat> if you talk about z so z is nothing but i divided by y max what is the y max here obviously this is the neutral axis so i max is nothing but uh, y max is nothing but distance from neutral axis to any surface and that distance should be maximum distance so for that reason y max is nothing but capital d by 2 and i which is nothing but pi by 64 in bracket d to power 4 d to power 4 divided by what is the y max it's a d by 2 right what is z pi by 32 pi by 32 in bracket d to power 4 d so section modulus here you got z this is the section modulus this is the section modulus right now similarly we have to write uh, section modulus for the triangular section section modulus for triangular section we can write triangular section okay so we can take triangular section something like this see here you can say the base is nothing but base is nothing but b and the whole vertical height is nothing but h okay h now where is the cg that cg also i had defined from the you know from the apex this is what apex and this is what base 
तो बोथ साइड आई हैड एक्सप्लेन यू हियर इफ यू गो फ्रॉम द बेस साइड सो वट इज द सी जी लोकेशन और न्यूट्रल एक्सेस दिस इज ऑल्सो न्यूट्रल एक्सेस इट्स नथिंग बट एच बाई थ्री ओके एंड फ्रॉम दिस साइड इट्स नथिंग बट टू एच बाई थ्री नाउ इफ आई से वट इज द जेड सो इट्स आई अपॉन वाई मैक्स वट इज द मैक्सिमम डिस्टेंस ऑब्वियसली टू एच बाई थ्री इज ग्रेटर दैन एच बाई थ्री सो आई कैन टेक आई आई वट इज आई आई इज नथिंग बट मोमेंट ऑफ नर्सिया बी एच क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी सिक्स डिवाइड बाई वाई मैक्स वाई मैक्स इज नथिंग बट टू एच टू एच बाई थ्री जेड इज नथिंग बट बी एच क्यूब एच एच कैंसिल आउट सो इट्स नथिंग बट बी एच स्क्वायर इट इज नथिंग बट बी एच स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फोर सी दिस इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी फोर All right. Done. So almost all type of section we have completed now. We can solve one problem, so it will be clear for everybody, right? Now we are having we are having here the simply supported beam. Okay, we are having here the simply supported beam. For this, we have to calculate the you know. Uh, maximum UDL. If beam is what carrying, then uh, what is the section modulus? And when maximum concentrated load is what carrying, then what will be the section modulus? That is the question. Okay. Now another <coughs> we can have that uh, <coughs> right. The problem is compare compare. compare the moment compare the moment carrying cap capacity moment carrying capacity of the of the given section okay a capacity of the given i section i have to write i section okay with with equivalent section of the of the same area but but option 1 square section second one rectangular section with depth twice twice with depth rectangular section with depth twice the twice the width third one of circular section total three problems here we have in single problem and they had said i section so for i section we have to compare with this i section 
dimension for i section it has given okay check this i section this length is nothing but 180 mm Ten mm. Okay. This is what uh, three eighty mm. This is also ten mm. One eighty mm. Right. So question is compare the moment carrying capacity. Moment carrying capacity means they are talking about capital M of given I section. This I section, I have a given all the direction uh, di dimension with equivalent section of same area. But now the section is what now going to change. It becomes a square section, rectangular section and circular section. We have to compare the moment carrying capacity means they are talking about the moment. All right. Thank <sighs> you.